video we're going to show how to add and remove auxiliary contacts onto the MC type contactors. The first thing we're going to show you is up to 150 amp frame. You could easily remove the auxiliaries. So our standard stock in the US is a 2A, 2B. So that means two normally open and two normally closed. So there's one normally open, one normally closed on this side. And then on this side, you have one normally open, one normally closed as well. So this is our standard stock. This specifically is an MC50A. And if you want to remove the auxiliary, if you don't need them, all you do is push up from the bottom and then pop out the top. Now you have to put a little bit of pressure on it. Um, so I'm just going to re reapply it. So there's little legs that go into the bottom and that just snaps right back in. So next I'm going to show you another trick you could do on the edge of a hard surface such as a desk or a table. So I'm going to show you an easier way. If you push the auxiliary on the edge of a desk, you could put more force on it and then it slides out pretty easily like that. Next I'm going to show how to install an auxiliary on a small MC18 which is what we have right here. It just has a type A, 1A auxiliary on there, and let's say we want to add a couple more. So if you try to add it to the side, you may notice that there's little blockers in here, little tabs. So all you do is pop this out with a little flathead screwdriver. They break right out like that. You put the uh, bottom clear part in there, which is the spring-loaded part. Push it towards the top. And then it snaps right in there. Next up, I'm going to show you how to move the auxiliaries on a larger amp frame contactor. So when we go higher than 150 amps, they are screwed in. So if we look at the auxiliary right here, there's a screw down here, another screw down there. So, if we remove these screws, the auxiliary is removed just like that. Installation would be the reverse of removal. Just pop it back in there and screw down each Phillips screw. Next up, I'm going to show you how to install a front mount auxiliary onto a smaller contactor. So up to 150 amps, so up to an MC150, you could put these front mount auxiliaries on there, whether you are, are already using these side mount auxiliaries um, and you need additional ones or there's not enough room on either side of the contactor. So if you look at the bottom of this, it just kind of slides on. So you just slide it into the top snaps into place and that's it very easy removal there's a little tab right here and it'll slide right back out thank you for watching this video should you have any technical or sales questions feel free to call or email us at the number and email provided here